Hi, today I wanted to walk you through a little bit more in detail on how we built our guinea pig cage. Most importantly for us, it is uh, cat proof and also safe for the guinea pigs. So it is a pretty massive cage. It is five feet long by two feet deep and it is a two tier cage connected with a ramp. So altogether I think it's around 20 square feet. And we currently have three guinea pigs living in there now. We actually did an introduction to bring a new guinea pig in with our bonded pair. So that's why it's a little bit bare at the moment. There's no houses or hides. It's a little, looks a little empty right now. But I have another video showing how that went too if you want to check that out. But um, I really like this cage so far. It's the first thing that we've actually built like ever with power tools. Anything else I've assembled has come with an Allen wrench and instructions, but it actually wasn't that bad. I was pretty intimidated, but I really wanted to get um, a good guinea pig cage that would have um, the option to bring our guinea pigs out with the rest of the family, but also keeping them safe. And I just really wasn't finding anything on the market that would really work to give them both safe uh, a safe place to be at and also give them a lot of space. So um, we decided to just build one and it's worked out really well. And like I said, I'm a complete beginner. I never even used an electric drill before we started this. So let me walk you through how we built it. And these are all the tools that we use to build the cage with. Just a simple handsaw, an electric drill, there's a little staple gun, tape measure, some scissors, and then just some um, paint brushes or paint rollers, whatever you want to use to paint the cage with, if you want to paint it. And then the first thing that we focused on was building the frame, basically just making two big rectangles out of um, two by two by eight pieces of wood. The first cut we did was for the length, and that was at 60 inches and kept the height at 36 inches and two screws at each connecting point. And then we connected each frame to, with 24 inch pieces of wood with one screw again at each connecting point. Then we went ahead and added a couple more connecting pieces at 24 inches right in the mid tier here, connecting with one screw again. And then we went ahead and added in some framing for the front of the cage for the doors. The framing is just basically there to keep the doors from swinging in all the way. And we used a one by two by eight piece of wood and just fit it in to the front and one screw again at each connecting point. And then we went ahead and finished off the top with some more connecting 24 inch pieces of wood. And then we added some more um, pieces in the middle as well. Another 24 inch piece of wood right between the two we did existing. And then we did a perpendicular piece as well with some more um, little support pieces just to make it a little bit more stable, keeping in mind room for the ramp. And that's going to be in the rear of our cage, so that's why we put it there. And then we went ahead and added in the uh, back part of the cage. We just screwed that right onto the back, and we used a textured plywood, which we got cut by um, Lowe's. And then we went ahead and painted all the interior. We used a non-toxic interior paint um, that's safe for pets, and then we went ahead and sealed it with a clear coat of um, some toy toy color sealant I think is what they call it it's just basically a clear coat that people put on like wooden toys that's uh, not toxic and safe for children and pets and we went ahead and, and built in the ramp as well we basically just made an L of uh, some connecting pieces of wood and connected it together with a hinge and that just basically gives you a little bit more flexibility to lift the ramp up and down to make cleaning a little bit easier and um, we went ahead and added a guard for the side of the ramp as well just to keep the guinea pigs from falling off of it because they do have bad depth perception so it's best to keep them safe <laughs> and you can see um, from this angle the ramp the guardrail we cut at like a 45 degree angle so that the coroplast would be level and we opted out of adding a bottom to our cage just because we're going to be putting it right on top of a table so that would really act for the base so adding in and cutting in a bottom was kind of redundant for us anyway so we went ahead and scored some coroplast and fit it into both levels and um, the only thing we need to do now is cut a hole for the ramp and this is the hole we ended up cutting for the ramp and um, you can kind of see where we cut the coroplast there and um, we basically just cut it up to the wood supports. So pretty much as large as we can go. And um, we use the excess coroplast from the hole to um, kind of wedge in there as a barrier. 
we pretty much just wedged it in there. We didn't use any glue or anything to attach it with, but it fit perfectly since, you know, that's the hole it came from. And um, as you can see here, the cut for the chloroplast is a little rough, but we use a fleece bedding, so it is hidden, and the guinea pigs don't really seem to mess with it. But for the barriers, we went ahead and opted to add in these little paper protector covers to kind of discourage them from chewing. Ours aren't big chewers, but it's a nice precaution to take, and it gives a little cleaner look. So you can actually see the ramp here a little bit better. We used some wood glue and added on a utility mat for grip. And then we added the top. <laughs> and we just went ahead and added that as soon as we put it onto the table. And we were pretty much done. <laughs> and for the doors, we just attached them with a simple, um, simple locking mechanism. And the frame of it, we just uh, staple gunned and a little bit of wood glued together into a rectangle and hinged it to the front. And you can see on the back of the door here, for the mesh, we pretty much just cut it to size with some scissors and use the staple gun to attach it to the frame. And um, we also use a little bit of hot glue on the front mesh because it can be a little bit jagged if you're going in there and cleaning, so just to protect your shirts. <laughs> and you can see a little bit more clearly here for the um, frame of the door, we used a 1x2 on top of the 2x2 so it fits perfect and it's nice and flush. And that's it. That's pretty much how we built the cage. And it's worked out really well. And the piggies really seem to enjoy it. And it's nice and safe. And um, our other two piggies are pretty shy. So this cage, I think, has really worked to bring out their personality a little bit more because it is a little bit more sheltered with being, you know, fully closed in on three sides. It makes them feel, I think, a little bit more secure than they were in just an open CNC cage with them on the floor. I think it's helped with them being kind of waist high and um, also kind of closed in a little bit more and around people more often. So if you've got some shy pigs, I think this cage has done wonders and it has really made them come out of their shell a lot more. But if you have any questions, just let me know. I could definitely try and help. Thanks for watching.